Oh, oh, hello! It's me, the scoundrel again. How are you doing? As you can hear, it's, it's very windy outside, and... Well, you can take a look for yourself, just to see how windy it is. Anyhow, it's about March now. Wait. No, it's April now. I had to check me watch. And it's still frickin' cold outside. I can't believe it. Now, I know awkward conversations always just end up being talked about the weather. You know, like, um, you go on a date with a fancy girl and she says something about something under the table. And I say, well, how about the weather? It's very, uh, nighttime outside. And, and she, she looks at me and that's how I lost me first wife. Um, so, I won't talk about the weather anymore except to say that I'm freezing me leg off. <laughs> Get it? It's a joke. I'm freezing me leg off uh, here in the city and the snow plows don't come along much anymore so scoundrels got to tread through 700 feet of, of snow just to get to work and and do his taxes and all that stuff that that we all hate so much. Why do I hate my job? Oh, you want me to keep talking, I see. Okay, well... Uh, I'm trying to think of something else to say, but... This is a very awkward, um... Awkward conversation uh, we're having. And, um... So, uh, it was a cold day today, I suppose. Um, pretty chilly, if you ask me. Uh, I don't have anything else to say, kids. You should probably go to bed now, because Uncle Scoundrel is out of words that he can use on daytime TV. So, um, if you don't go to bed now, I'm going to have to use Mommy and Daddy words. Um, God damn it, son of a bitch. Are you in bed, kids? If you're not, I'm sorry you had to hear that. If you hadn't been such little goddamn sons of bitches, you would not have heard it. That's good parenting right there, is telling your kids to go to bed before Uncle Scoundrel says things he doesn't mean. Like, um... You know, there's one race I really hate. Those goddamn...